Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're learning Midnight Cowboy, the theme from the film. It was played by Toots Thielmans, so this is a bit of a tribute to him as well. It was actually played on a chromatic harmonica, he being a chromatic player. But since I'm predominantly a diatonic player, and since this is a diatonic channel, I'm going to play it for you on a diatonic. So there's some bends in it, there's also a few overblows. But if you're scared off by overblows, don't worry, a lot of it you'll be able to play anyway. And it's actually a really good exercise for a lot of your bending techniques as well. So we'll get started with the tab straight away, and the first section would sound something like this. Okay, so we've got some bends in there. It actually starts on a four draw, and then it goes to a four blow. And then we've got three draw, two draw. So that's. You could play a three blow instead of the two draw, it's the same note. But I would prefer you to do the two draw just because you can get a nice vibrato on it. And we are going to be bending it later, and so you kind of want to get used to playing the two draw. The four draw and the four blow, they in particular have a kind of. Now, I haven't put it in the tab, but you might want to double up those notes. Now, when he's playing it in the record, he sort of bends those notes. So if you're able to bend that four draw, and then on the four blow, you can get a little bit of a bend, which is similar to the kind of sound you would get on a chromatic. I'm doing the same kind of bending technique. And you can get a sort of micro bend, so. And you can do it on the three draw and the two draw as well. So just bear that in mind with these this line. So not just completely straight. Like that, you've got the kind of dip in the middle. So then the second half of the line. It's the semitone bend on three, then the full tone bend on three, and then the two draw, and then the two draw full bend. Really good practice for those bends. Obviously on a chromatic, all those notes are just there. For us, a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna have some good practice at the bends. So that line in full, is played four times. The first two are unaccompanied and then the band strikes up and he does two more with the band. So I'm not going to play it four times, I don't see the point, you, you can play it. So that would be your first line. The next part sounds something like this. It's a lovely, really nice melody this, I really like this. So. This one, we've got two draw, two draw, and then three draw, second bend, and then two draw, two draw, two draw, second bend, two blow, two draw, second bend. Okay, so we're getting a real good workout on these lower notes. And you've got to try and play them as cleanly as possible because we're imitating, <clears throat> excuse me, imitating a chromatic line, you're going to have to play these as cleanly as possible. We're not playing a dirty, bluesy style. You've got to really try and get those clean. And if you're struggling, think, play as softly, as softly as possible. You've got to almost whisper these notes, okay? You're not forcing them out, you're kind of whispering them. So, if I play the first line once, I'm not gonna play it four times, and then the second line, it would sound something like this. One, two, Three, four. Okay, great. So let's have a little listen to the record just so we can hear those lines and then the following lines. So, so this is him playing it on his own. It's got that distinctive chromatic sound. 
I'm going to turn it up a bit so you can hear it. Okay, so now the band would come in, and you. this is the third version of that line. Is that three? <laughs> Can't count. So it's all smooth. You've got to do your best to imitate that. And then... Now... Okay, so... So we've got four blow, and he plays it five times. And then we have four draw bend, th four blow again, and then three draw. So. Okay. It's such a lovely melody. I'm really enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying it too. And then we go back down to that lower line. Uh, we'll possibly add one more note, but if you listen. Now, that's basically the same line. as the second line. I think he adds one extra two draw. There's an extra uh, G note in there um, right at the start, but it's basically the same thing. I think he just goes. Ba, 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 instead of just da, 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 da. But it's basically the same as the second line. So the second and fourth lines are, are basically the same. So that's our first four lines, and then it goes again back to a similar line as line three. So if we have a listen. It's just the last note that's different. So we go to a four draw instead of a three draw. So if you look at line three, then look at line five. They're all the same except you've got a three draw and then a four draw that finishes on line five. Okay, so let's, before we go on, try those five lines together. Okay, so let's go from the start. I'm actually going to play along with the record and I'm going to do it right from the start so you get a good chance to play that line, the first line, four times and then we'll move on to the next line. So here we go. So this is the first time. And then we go on to the next line. So we've got. Oh, sticky reed. Here we go. It begins. So the next line, we've got an overblow in this, I'm afraid. So we've got a five blow, and then we've got four blow, four blow, four blow, four blow, four draw, and then four overblow. So I'm just going to play it on the record so you can hear how it sounds. That's the overblow. Clearly for him it's not an overblow because he's on a chromatic, but for us we'd have... Okay, that was the overblow at the end there. Now really, really 
tricky to get it to hold that note and make it smooth. You maybe want to cut it a little bit short compared with what he's doing because we're doing a tricky thing here on the diatonic. But that would be your line. So five blow, four blow, four times, and then a four draw and a four overblow. And then we'd have so we can hear it here. Now there's a little bit of a wobble before the last note of this line, but let's just take the bare bones of it. We've just got four blow, four blow, four blow, four blow, three draw. Now what I mean by there's a little bit of a wobble is if you look earlier on, we've got line three, okay, with all those four blows and then it goes four draw, bend, four blow, three draw. This is kind of the same line again, but he doesn't fully play that four draw, bend and the four blow or the equivalent notes on the chromatic. He doesn't do that, he kind of... He kind of almost does them, but then he doesn't. So I've just left those notes out. Okay, if you want to put them in, they will fit. So that's absolutely fine if you want to play them there. I just try to stick to what he actually plays, but I think it is supposed to be the same line in a way. He's just chosen not to articulate those notes as such. Okay, we're having to rush through these. There's quite a lot to get through. So hopefully you can pause and stop and digest each bit as we go on. But I'm going to have to go straight on to the next section. We've got a lot more to get through we're about halfway through the tune okay so the next line this is the same line as we've had line two okay so that same line there again and then at this point so about halfway through the tune, there's a guitar almost sort of solo piece that comes in and you're sort of playing behind it. So have a little listen. Or strings at the moment, and then guitar. So all I've got there is a two draw and a two draw bend and then a two draw and you do that twice. So it's kind of Okay, you might want to double up the two draws, you might do the, do a little oh, oh, kind of the bend idea I was talking about for the very first line of the tune, which we did it for. But generally it's just the two draw and the two draw bend. I'm going to just play that bit of the track again, just so you can hear. Okay, so. So this is the last line, and then. Just in the background. And then we're back in. Okay, now I need to talk about this bit because the very start of the tune, we've got sticky reed again. There we go. Very start of the tune we've got. And it plays that four times, okay? Now this time, we're playing that line again, okay? But we're actually extending it to go further down the harmonica. And unfortunately, there's another overblow, an overblow on hole one, which is one I don't really use, really play very often. So we'll see whether it even comes out. <laughs> so we've got the line as it was. And so that's four draw, four blow, three draw, two draw, and then the three draw semitone bend, tone bend, two draw, two draw second bend. And then we've got. Now that sounded horrible, I apologise. So the bottom bend on three, which is a note you probably don't play often as well, 
And then a two draw, then a two draw second bend, and then the one over blow, which came out sounding horrible, and then the two draw second bend again. So I'll just play that again. Barely getting that one over blow. Just about there. <laughs> Not a note I play very often. Just for this one line as well in the tune. So that would run down straight on from the previous line, okay? So you'd have. Let me just play the track so you can hear Toots doing it much better than that. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. So difficult to hear there because it's still a bit behind the guitar, but it is going on great thing is if you're just scared of that one overblow which I am a little bit you could just sort of leave that out leave that note out because it's not full and prominent and in the front anyway because there's the guitar going on at the same time anyway that that section that run down including that overblow on hole one that is played twice so you hear it again here we go a bit easier to hear now actually Still not though. And then, then we're back in the front. So this line. This is the one that ends with the four overblow. So that would be line, I'm just counting them, line six. We are repeating now. So the five blow, and then the four blow, four blow, four blow, four blow, four draw, four over blow. Okay. We've got a couple more lines to do, and then we're there, okay? We're almost there, don't worry. And then... And that will be the same as line seven. So the four blow, four blow, four blow, four blow, three blow... Great. And then there's really only one more line. There's probably 20 odd seconds left in the track, but it's kind of a fade out. And he just plays the opening line again and again. So if we listen. And again. Okay, great. So that would take us to the end of the track. I'm aware I've had to kind of rush through this. There's a lot of lines, but one thing remains. We want to put the track on and play along with it and see if we can get through the whole thing. So I'm going to go right from the start to the end. I hope you're with me, and here we go.
So that's the whole of Midnight Cowboy. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson with me today. I'm going to be back next week with another lesson. Please give me your comments, your questions. If you've enjoyed the video, do click like and share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook and Twitter also to get in touch with me. And please give me your requests for future songs for me to look at. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.